Our two countries face a pivotal moment in our relationship in which it could be nothing short of tragic to let this opportunity go to waste. I have been very clear that President Trump and the United States objective is very consistent and well known. The complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. President Trump has also made it clear that if Kim Jong-un denuclearizes, there is a brighter path for North Korea. We envision a strong, connected, and secure, prosperous North Korea that maintains its cultural heritage, but is integrated into the community of nations. If these talks are successful, it will truly be historic. It will take bold leadership from Chairman Kim Jong-un if we are able to seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to change the course for the world. President Trump and I believe Chairman Kim is the kind of leader who can make those kinds of decisions, and that in the coming weeks and months, we will have the opportunity to test whether or not this is the case. If the North Koreans are prepared, in fact, to denuclearize, this includes all elements of their nuclear program, if we convince, convince them of that, that in fact their security is greater, that in fact the real threat to their security is the continued holding onto of that nuclear, weight, nuclear weapons program and not the converse. We've had lots of conversations around that. Uh, the true test, of course, comes when uh, we actually achieve this. Uh, but many conversations have been had about how we might proceed, what the path might be forward, so that we can achieve both the denuclearization that the world demands of North Korea and the security assurances that would be required for them to allow us to achieve that. Uh, the conditions are uh, putting uh, President Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un in a place where we think there can be real progress made by the two of them meeting. It does no good if we're in a place where we don't think there's real opportunity to place them together. We've made real progress towards that in the last 72 hours. I know everyone's following this minute by minute and hour by hour. This is going to be a process that will take days and weeks to work our way through. There will be tough moments. There will be difficult times. I've had some difficult conversations with them as well. Uh, they've given it right back to me, too. Uh, there is a, there were decades in to this challenge, and so one, one not ought to be either surprised or frightened or deterred by moments where it looks like uh, there are challenges and difficulties, things that can't be bridged. Our mission is to bridge them so that we can achieve this historic outcome. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.